Hi, I'm Becky Goldsmith, and this is my new book, The Magical Unicorn, and it really is a magical quilt. It's so much fun. Um, what I want to show you in this video is how to do the um, hand applique for the eye. Everything else can be done on machine, but I, I think in this case, hand applique is the best way to treat the eye. In the book, I explain that the best way to sew the eye is in layers. And because these pieces are small, you want to treat them a little bit differently. So on the larger unicorn, the eye is much bigger. And I've got the eyelashes as part of the applique piece. On the smaller unicorn block, those, those eyelashes, it's, it's possible to, to applique them down, but it's a little trickier. So in this case, I think it's probably easier to cut those off, and there's a dashed line on the pattern that shows you where to cut that off, and you make the eye, and then if you look at the quilt, you'll see on the quilt behind me that the um, unicorn eyes, eyelashes, are embroidered on. Okay, so. I'm going to set this aside and show you how to do this. In both cases, whether you're working on the larger eye or the smaller eye, you work applique-wise from the bottom up. So the underneath piece on the eye, there's four layers of eye fabrics. The underneath piece you want to keep a little bit bigger. So this is for the small unicorn, and I have made freezer paper templates as is described in the book. I've pressed the freezer paper template in the center of, say, a six inch square. I trace around that and remove the template. Now this is what the rest of the eye pieces are going to be appliqued on top of. All right, so I'm going to set this. I have another one underneath there ready. Okay, we'll just do that. Okay, then the remaining pieces for the eye, I have also taken the freezer paper templates, pressed them on their individual fabrics, traced around them, and then cut them out. So I will be ready to applique these shapes on top of the eye. So this shape that has freezer paper templates on it that I've traced around and taken off, I would finger press this, the edge that, ooh, not that side, I would, yes, that side. I would finger press this side before positioning it on the bottom black piece of the eye. And I would use my overlay here. And even though it's a little hard to see, once I put the fabric underneath, I'll be able to move that into position over the underneath piece and applique this edge. Then the next piece that goes on top will be appliqued over this, and the next piece that will be appliqued over that. What I'm aiming for is a finished eye that looks just like this. Every shape appliqued one on top of the other and then cut out as a unit. Now the little tiny smallest piece, admittedly it's pretty small, and there's more than one way to handle it. I appliqued mine. And if you're going to applique this shape, what you want to do is start with a bigger piece of the white, and then trim away each side, applique it, trim away the seam allowance, leaving a seam allowance, applique the next side, trim away another side, then you continue stitching, turning this under, stitching, and then you trim away the last side and stitch it in place, and then that will give you a, a really nice highlight on the eye. But let's pretend like you don't want to work um, with applique that small. You can embroider the highlight with embroidery floss. You could also paint it on with a paint pen. There's all kinds of good paint pens out there. Once you have the eye completely made, you would finger press the outer edges under. That'll make it easier to sew. And all you see of that underneath black piece, because you remember you're appliqueing on top of this larger piece, trimmed it away, all you'll see of that black is just an outline as if it has been traced around with a black pen. Um, then it's ready to applique to your unicorn. And this is what gives personality to the unicorn. 
It really does. So the eye is important to sew and get on the unicorn where it's supposed to be and you use your placement overlay for that. So I hope you enjoyed this and may you have many happy stitches.